Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to my new Let's Play. Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Returns. For the last three years, I've been playing the Donkey Kong Country trilogy on the Super NES, and now that I've completed that, it's time to play the revival to the series, Donkey Kong Country Returns, released on the Wii in 2011 by Retro Studios. That's right, Rareware had nothing to do with this title because they were over at Microsoft. So, uh, Retro Studios, famous for the Metroid Prime series, picked up this game and decided to have its own spin to it. And voila, this is the title we got, Donkey Kong Country Returns. A really good game. This is probably one of my fa all-time favorite Wii games that have were released for the system. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to erase game three. Yeah, let's erase this one. Yes, we do not need this anymore. Yes, delete it. Thank you. Let's get started. In Donkey Kong Country Returns, you can play by yourself, or you can play a two-player co-op. I am by myself, so I'm not going to be covering the co-op, but possibly this is something I could show off in a future video, maybe. Uh, we also have some extras. We'll take a look at these as we go throughout the game. And finally, the options. You can change the audio options or the control options. In this game, you can either play with the Wiimote by itself, or you can use the Wiimote and Nunchuck. I'm going to be using the Wiimote and Nunchuck because I feel like these controls are a lot better. So I'm going to keep using them that way. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to Donkey Kong Country Returns. And here we go! DK is back! Controls, very similar to what they are in Donkey Kong Country. Uh, there are a few uh, differences though, as I'll cover later. Let's go ahead and pay a visit to Donkey Kong's house, and much like in Donkey Kong Country 1, there's a 1-up in the house. Nice little callback to that game. We can also go in here to the banana mine. 
where we have a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces are extras we can collect in this game. Uh, in terms of all of the collectibles we can get, I'm only going to be going for all the puzzle pieces and all of the con letters because they were the, those are the only things that actually yield rewards. But I'll try to cover a lot of other stuff too. So uh, what I did right there with Donkey Kong is something new we can do. We can actually blow onto objects like uh, dandelions and uh, fans. And by doing that, he can actually uh, find some secret objects. You can also use that to turn some enemies over, too, so there are other practical purposes as well. But for the most part, like I said, we're just going to be going for uh, puzzle pieces and uh, Kong letters, and usually we'll have to use some of those moves to find everything, so we're going to keep a lookout and try to find everything we can. Uh, you can also use the standard hand slap move, and you can stun enemies with that as well. Make sure you check anything. Anything that seems out of place or obscure, definitely check it because there could always be hidden goodies hidden inside of it. So yeah, we're just going to check some of these things. Like there! He found a puzzle piece, so it's good that we check that. Have some more goodies over here. Another puzzle piece. All right. Uh, puzzle pieces can vary. There's some levels that have like only four or three, but um, this level, for instance, has nine. So it really varies on the level you're playing, I guess you could say. Also, let's see what's in here. Just a heart. Also, stuff like this. Usually when you see something like this, it's best to check it, because there could always be a puzzle piece reward involved. So just collect all of the bananas. You don't have a time limit or anything, so don't worry about that. And after we do that, yep, here's another puzzle piece. Hooray for puzzle pieces! Hooray for everything! I love puzzles too, so this is a good game. Games that allow you to collect puzzle pieces, how nice. Also, yeah, those guys are the midpoints, so whenever you see a pig, usually that signifies a midpoint of some kind, so make sure you go buy that. Also, this letter can be kind of tricky to get. But Diddy Kong is the second Kong you can have with you. Uh, when you play two-player co-op, uh, the second player can actually take Diddy off of DK's back and actually move around with him. But for one player purposes, his only purpose is to really allow you to hover for a brief period of time. Which is actually a really nice ability. It allows DK to uh, grab some items he can't quite reach with a normal jump, so it's nice to have. Also, yes, give me your bananas. Before we go any further, let's see what's over here. Okay, just a banana coin. I feel like there's something I've already missed, but uh, like I've done with other Donkey Kong Country games, if I miss anything, I'll just go back and grab it whenever I get the chance. Okay, hold on. Yep, I kind of figured there was something over here, and sure enough, there is. It's also good to roll whenever you have a jump you're not sure you can make. I probably could have made that without Diddy, but still, it's always best to make sure you're safe. Also, whenever you die, uh, any Kong letters you've collected since the midpoint, or, well, the level beginning, or whatever, uh, you will have to recollect those, but puzzle pieces actually stay with you, so you don't have to worry about recollecting those. Which is nice that they do that. I think that makes things a lot um, more fair, I think. Also, here's a bonus area. Every bonus area contains a puzzle piece, and for most of the areas, you have to just collect all of the objects and uh, you'll get the puzzle piece, and you have to do it within the time limit, too, so you have to be kind of quick. I think I should be able to do this, though. 
Don't do anything stupid here. Alright, there we go. I think things are going pretty well for us right now. I have a feeling there might be something up there, though, so we want to make sure we get on top. Okay. And sure enough, yep, puzzle piece. For the most part, that's usually how you'll find puzzle pieces. Just try to find high platforms. Usually that'll uh, have a puzzle piece or a reward of some kind. And another thing they'll do a lot... Oh shoot, can I actually grab that? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, good. Didn't quite screw this up. Another thing they'll do is they'll actually hide them in walls, too. Like this one. So yeah, you really have to check everywhere if you want to find them all. And finally, we have the in-stage targets. Try to aim for the DK. That's not the DK, but nonetheless, we got something out of it. And there we go, collected all the comm letters, collected all the puzzle pieces. We're good to go. And that was the first level. These stages are pretty long, a lot longer than the uh, Donkey Kong Country stages of old. So I'll probably only be able to cover two or three episodes or levels per video. But that's okay. I think that'll be fine. This might be a long project, but again, these levels are really, really long. I'll try to aim for three, but there may be a time where I can only cover two. It really kind of depends. But let's continue. King of Kling. First thing we should do, check over here and make sure there's no uh, hidden wall. Okay, we're good to go. And another thing DK can do in this game is he can cling to walls and ceilings. Very useful ability, allows him to uh, traverse over gaps that you may not think you'll be able to go across, so... DK can cling his way to victory. Also, yay, goodies. Gotta love those goodies. Actually, I'm curious. Hold on. Hold on, Mr. Piranha Plant ripoff. We have bananas down there. Actually, watch. Oh, no, he can't grab me. Okay. That's good to know. That's good to know that he can't grab me. Okay, let's try this again. I have a feeling. Yep. So if anything looks suspicious, like these two platforms that don't really seem to go anywhere, yeah, chances are there's probably something hidden. It's the law of Donkey Kong Country. If something looks ominous or just out of place, usually there's something there. Okay, that one's a little harder to find, just because there's not really any indication there, but... Oh, dang it. I got hurt. As you can see, both Kongs have two hearts each. If you have Diddy, if you lose two hearts, you lose Diddy, and you have, you're back to Donkey Kong until you find the next uh, DK barrel. And if you lose both of DK's hits, that's when you'll die. And naturally, you can die if you fall off the edge, too. So, wait, what are you doing? Roll? Okay. Oh, okay, he wants me to roll one of those guys. Actually, I believe if, uh... Well, I guess we'll test that theory later. Because for now, we have more stuff to collect. Oh, bonus area. Okay. Some of the bonus areas are very easy like this, but there's a few others that can be kind of difficult that will take almost the entire time to collect everything. But for the most part, you'll see a lot of repeats and stuff, so not too bad. Okay, 
Also, before I leave, let's go ahead and see what's over here. Okay, a barrel. So we can go back over here, okay. I have a feeling there's something up here, though. I don't know. It looks suspicious. But I think I already checked, so... Okay, yeah, there's nothing. Well, in that case, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's right. If you have Diddy, you can actually uh, do this for a bit. It's really cool. It's like the steel keg barrels from the uh, older games. Ah! Stupid frog. Frogs, why can you jump? You're not supposed to be able to do that. Okay, I gotta be careful about this one. Gotta be careful, but fast. Also, yeah, if you uh, lose one of your hits, like Diddy Kong, a uh, barrel will also work for that. So, you can heal with DK barrels as well. Can I cling to this? No. Not quite. Alrighty then, let's jump and continue our adventure with lots of stuff. Nothing. Come on. Ow. Well, I kind of figured something like that would happen with the way I was standing there. Wasn't exactly being uh, super careful there. Actually, wait. Yeah, I needed some help. Don't mind me, just taking my health. Okay. I really like the clinging mechanics. I felt like the developers did a great job making those. Plus it does kind of give something that I don't think the uh, uh, Donkey Kong Country series really had before. I mean, you could cling to vines and swing on vines, but you never really had anything you could necessarily cling to. Unless you want to count the uh, honeycomb levels in uh, the second game. I guess that does count. Also, yay, got all the puzzle pieces. Got all the puzzle pieces without even realizing. But yeah, don't be surprised if they hide a lot of those puzzle pieces and little wall gaps. They have a tendency to do that. I call it the uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii Syndrome. Where I feel like they did that a lot. And they've done that to every Mario Bros. game since. Also, where's the G? I don't think I've collected the G yet. We're coming to the end. I, oh, there it is. Okay. I knew it was coming up here soon. Okay, whatever. I'll take the hit. Uh, anything over here? Nah, I'm good. Okay, let's try to perfectly time this. No, I got that again. Ah. That's okay. That's okay. We have all the Kong letters, so we're awesome. That's exactly what that means. And once we beat that level, we actually have a branch. We can go to level 1-3, or we can go down here to visit our pal Cranky Kong. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, and I'll talk about this place, and I'll probably end the video after that. I'll try to do three levels next time. So yeah, this is Cranky Kong's shop. It's about time you visited your frail old grandpa. Get me some of those shiny banana coins, and you can pick through my old things. So yes, uh, you can actually purchase some items from uh, Cranky Kong here. You can purchase some lives. Uh, you can purchase a key, and you're generally going to want to buy the key in every world, so we're going to go ahead and buy that. 
And then you also have Squawks, a Heart Boost, and Banana Juice. Squawks will actually point you in the direction of hidden puzzle pieces. The Heart Boost will give you an extra heart. And the Banana Juice is basically God Mode. It just makes you temporarily invincible from enemies. I'm not going to try to use these items, but I wanted to go ahead and talk about what they did. So there you go. I might show off Squawks a few times, but these basically just give you more health. More health to work with. That's really about it. So yeah, there we go. We're going to go leave the shop now. Glad I could help my grandson overcome the deadly challenge in exchange for a little cash money. Cranky, you're a jerk. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're a jerk sometimes, man. And yeah, with that, we unlock the uh, lock that was over here that would allow us to access the level below this. Otherwise, we'd just keep going. But yeah, I think I am actually going to end the video here, though. So this has been Slim Kirby. This has been my new Let's Play. Let's play Donkey Kong Country Returns. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.